and welcome to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm doing a collab that I'm really excited about. This collab is with Nadia from the channel Chups. I will link her below and she's one of the small creators that I found through Annette's makeup corner or Annette recommending and doing a collab with her and she is amazing. She does these amazingly thorough reviews. She loves colorful eyeshadows and I definitely recommend checking her out. And today we are going to do a recreation look of Annette. This is semi reminiscent of a collab that I did with Annette. I think our first collab where we emailed each other inspiration and we weren't allowed to open it until we sat down to film the video. So I've sent over a picture to Nadia and she sent me a picture in my emails. I haven't opened it yet, but I can't wait. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing how she recreates the look that I sent her from Annette and I looking forward to seeing what she sent me to recreate but first let me fix my hair <laughs> so yes this is a wig and yes this would be like the first time I've ever worn a wig um so <laughs> Annette who I also link below is one of my dear friends and a while ago on night shift I thought it would be funny to see what my hair looked like red and then this collab came up anyway so I've all the stuff on my face will be listed below I've already primed my eyes with the Mac paint pot in soft ochre because I'm 100% that Annette has used that in whatever look it is let's have a look I can't wait what has she sent me Ooh. So this look is from Annette's Colourpop Chasing Rainbows palette. I'll link the picture up there below and this is the look we'll be doing. I'm going to quickly swing by the video and see. All right, so I do not have the Colourpop Chasing Rainbows palette. I've got Annette's videos down here below. I'll link it for you. I'll see if I can insert it, but you know, I'm not going to give you any promises. And I do have a fair amount of Colourpop actual products. I'm wondering, I feel like this palette could come into play, but this could be the perfect day to pull out the singles. All right, and this very much just looks like a pink shade I am going to use. So I'm going to go in with a Fair Play. I think this, I think this shade's going to be good for that starting shade. All right, so going in with that shade, we are packing it into our crease and then blending it out. All right, so this is all right. So then we're moving into a dark purple. And look, I've got one right here. This is 17H1. What a name. And we're going to put this on the outer and the inner corner, just like Annette did in her video. So if you do go over and say hello to Chops, let her know that you came from my channel. And if you are from her channel, please let me know. It's just nice to share the love a little. Do let me know what you're thinking of this hair. This is, it's highly amusing for me and I'm sorry, like, I know, I hope you're enjoying seeing what I look like with red hair. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe R41. And then she's you blended it to and from to link them up. All right, so she has used the purple lilac color. Let me just... Uh, so I'm going to go into my It's My Pleasure palette and Earthshine. And I think that might be a good, like, doopy doop. Annette always spritzes a brush. Uh, I'll sort of do it sometimes and then, or I'll go in dry and then I'll do it if I need to. Um, and then I will also sometimes just use my fingers if I need speed, which is a definite no-no in, in, in Annette's book. I think Chops Nadia, she does a similar thing to me where she'll go in dry and then spritz it if needed. Sorry, I also have like a ginormous head, so wigs don't tend to fit me. 
All right, so she has gone back in with the purple to intensify the outer, to intensify them. So let's go in with, I think I feel like going in with my Morphe M506. Ooh, okay. And this side's going a bit haywire. I don't know if you can see. So the as I've blended, this purple from the middle has come in. So I'm just going to try and swipe it gently back. And then just bring the purple over the top. I think we're looking alright. I'm just... I think once I bring the shade on the bottom... I'll be feeling a bit more even. I'm happy with it though. Let's bring you back up. And what are we doing for the bottom corner, Annette? All right, so she's gone in with a teal. I've just gone through all my ColourPop palettes. I do not have a teal, but I do have this shade from the Dream Street palette. This is Potion, a little swatchy. I think this is gonna give us a similar effect. She went in with one of her smudgy smudge brushes. Oh, let's try out the Super Beauty um, 560. I got this in my mystery box the other day. If you haven't checked out that video, please do, because it took me a long time to edit. <laughs> let's just see if I can get rid of some of that fallout I have created. Whoops. Okay. So I've messed up underneath my eyes. I'm gonna just go conceal, wipe it off, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I've just put more concealer on and powder, and let's go in. So she's put the teal down, and then she's blended it. So using this shade, I'm not gonna add anything more. And I'm gonna go into my Morphe M149, and I'm just gonna use this to hopefully spread it a little bit. And one of the things I really love about recreating a look is I feel like it gives you more appreciation for like how it looks in real life and what you think of it. I know Annette is very anti-editing so you can always trust her to be true to colour. And we are going in for an inner shimmer, an inner shine, inner shimmer, inner corner. Uh, it looked like she just chose something nice and frosty. I have, and she did not spritz it, Annette, mixing it up. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Vivacious. Oh, look, doesn't that fit, suit my, suit my fan? really hope my fan reveal worked. <laughs> I've not had much luck with reveals. Oops, I've just realized she's brought that too much further up than I have. So let's go back and fix that. I'm going to use a smaller smudging brush. I'm going to go with my MAC 217 and back into that colour potion. Alright, and then she's gone in with Urban Decay Liner in Deep End. I don't have that one. I, it's a dark green, sort of, I think. This is Overdrive. This one here. From Urban Decay. And it's a nice green. I think it's probably going to complement this quite well. And mascara, knowing Annette, without even looking, it's going to be Bad Girl Bang. And then she also said that she did a little wing. I really suck at wings. And let's go on my stamp liner. So I have done a first impressions with this. I didn't mind it. Let's do a little wing wing. My eyes are quite like tiny for me to get into with the big texture on that one. So I'm going to go in with the Fenty Fly Liner. All right, and then let's try and see how we go on this side. All right, wildly different wings. It's quite hilarious. And look, you can see how different the effect is on my eyes. It's freaking me out. Or oh, I have to somehow make this one higher up. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. I feel like if I do any more, it's gonna just mess it up. It's about to go bang. All right, so I think I've finished the look. So let's bring you in. 
So I do love absolutely recreating a look. I hope you've enjoyed the red hair. A bit of something extra today. <laughs> I've definitely been having fun wearing it. And I hope you do go check out Nadia and her channel Chops. She does amazing work. And I really hope you enjoyed us recreating one of Annette's Makeup Corners looks. And Annette, you know I absolutely love you. Thank you so much for being amazing. Annette is an amazing creator and she is helping link towards so many smaller creators that I would never know about if it wasn't for her. And this is sort of our way of thanking her for that and having doing a fun collab. I really hope you enjoyed. Annette, let me know what you think of the red hair. Everyone, let me know what you think of the red hair. Make sure to go and check out Annette at Annette's Makeup Corner. And also, of course, make sure to go check out Nadia at Chops. I will have it all linked down below. I'm going to be in the cards. Uh, let me know what you think of this recreation. <laughs> and I'm so having fun playing with those stamps. I think it's definitely a thing to master. If it's your first time here, I'd absolutely be honoured if you would consider subscribing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I absolutely appreciate it and adore you. Mwah.